Jacksonville police are asking for your help catching this man who is being sought in a violent robbery at a Metro PCS store where an employee was repeatedly stabbed. The sheriff's office has posted that photo and others to its Twitter account, calling him one of the most wanted, man, wanted men in the city. The store clerk is still in the hospital but is expected to recover. He was attacked during a holdup just after closing Friday night at the Metro PCS on Ramona Boulevard on the west side. Channel 4's Jim Pickett spoke with our crime and safety analyst about why these stores seem to be frequent targets. He's joining us live on the west side. Jim? Let me show you, this happened right back here at this Metro PCS. And as you had mentioned, it was early Saturday morning, just after midnight. I did see that surveillance video. A clerk in there showed that to me. It was very violent. You can see that clerk is being stabbed over and over again. He's trying to defend himself and defend the store. Now, the owner and police are asking us not to release that, and we're not going to release that. And we're not giving the clerk's name at this time because the suspect is still at large. But I'll tell you, a lot of people in this area have been talking to us about this man. He's a beloved man in this area, and they can't believe that this happened. These are pictures from surveillance video released by the sheriff's office taken from the Metro PCS store in West Ramona, not far from Baldwin. It shows a young man in a hoodie just before he robbed the store and stabbed the clerk numerous times. It happened just as the clerk was closing up the store late Friday night, counting out the day's receipts. The attacker came in a back door and sneaked into the front where he surprised the clerk. After stabbing the man numerous times, he took cash from the register and ran. Metro PCS stores have been hit in the past many times in Jacksonville. It was a violent robbery in 2011 on Sutel Drive. In 2013, at the Brentwood store on Main Street, clerk Shelby Farah was killed. Then, in April of 2016, the store at 103rd and Blanding was also robbed. And now, this latest attack this past weekend on Ramona Boulevard. This is a type of business where people come in and pay their bill with cash, and people know that. So they assume that at a certain time of day, maybe closer to closing, that there would be a large amount of cash on hand. Most of the Metro PCS stores, though, are franchised out, though I did call the corporate offices as well to find out about the safety aspects and all of these, but have not heard anything back from them at this point. Now, coming up all new at 6 o'clock, I did talk to people that work here at this store. We'll hear from them and what they have to say about this clerk. We're live on the west side, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Jim. And we crime mapped the area around the Metro PCS where this robbery happened. Within a half mile radius in the past six months, there have been nine reported vehicle break-ins, six assaults, and four burglaries.